Today, we are starting a new lesson called Words Matter. It's inspired by an artist named Robert Indiana. And this lesson is all about creating positive vibes with our art. Have you ever mailed a letter? Have you ever received a letter in the mail? What did the stamp look like that was on the letter? The artist we are going to talk about today, Robert Indiana, has his artwork on a postage stamp. Robert Indiana was born in Newcastle, Indiana in 1928. His real name was Robert Clark. He decided to use his home state as his last name when he started making art. That's when he changed it to Indiana. His love stamp created in 1973 was one of the most popular ever sold or collected. Before his postage stamp became popular, he created the love sculpture. Remember, sculpture is art that's three-dimensional. This original sculpture is made of weathering steel and has been on exhibit at the Indianapolis Museum of Art since 1975. So this was the first love sculpture that he created. Here's another one. Love Park is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This park has a statue created by Robert Indiana in 1976. His sculpture is so popular that people around the world have created the same sculpture in their own language. The one on the top says amor. That is love in Spanish. You can find that sculpture in Spain. The one on the bottom says love in Hebrew, and you can find that sculpture in Israel. Well, guess where this love sculpture is located? Yeah, right, San Antonio at the McNay Museum. How cool is that? Robert Indiana took his love picture and turned it into another word. H-O-P-E spells hope. So this painting is called Classic Hope that he did in 2010. So we're going to take this idea and choose a word with four letters and turn it into a piece of art. So please go to the next video so that I can explain how to do that. 